Hi everyone, I'm Jorisar and this is the Battle Report for X6 Gaming vs Afrika Freaks Blue from the round of 8 of Apex Season 3. This is the rematch of the first group stage, where Afrika Freaks will be hoping to keep their win streak alive and X6 will be looking for revenge and continuing to strengthen their case for Royal Road. Let's see how it went down. Getting off on the right track is all too important on control maps, and in the opening moments of Night Market on Lijiang Tower, X6 wanted to make sure they set the pace right from the start. The mirror dive cons clashed, with God's B making the first play, landing a double kill with his helix rockets at close range, providing an easy first point capture for X6 Gaming, which would extend to 99% after Choi Hyobin Diva Bomb forced bad positioning from Afrika Freaks during a retake attempt. A heroic stall effort from Dong Hyun kept the game in overtime long enough for both teams to respawn and for Afrika Freaks not only to flip the point, but actually steal the round from X6 entirely. After the nail-biting first round, we went to Control Center, which was a polar opposite experience for the X6 team. Getting eviscerated by the Genji of Arhan, and then getting denied even overtime thanks to Miro's Winston stomping out and primal raging his way through their roster, keeping control firmly in Afrika Freak's hands. After an impressive display on map number one, Afrika Freaks put their boot in the throat of X6, shattering their Torborisa defense and blazing through ramparts over the bridge and busting through the castle gate, even without Arhan's Dragon Blade finding any kills. The cart, unstopped on its journey, moved steadily through the third phase too, propelled forward by Afrika Freaks clearing waves of defensive efforts from X6, including a Diva Bomb 2k from Dong Hyun that set up Afrika to take the final stretch with three minutes left in their bank. The point A defense from AF Blue can't manage to hold the point long either though against X6's Sombra offense, but unlike the previous round, AF Blue did not have to swap up. After losing point A, they retained their composition, keeping their alt economy for ramparts. And once the cart got to the bridge, the defense stabilized, doling out individual DPS ults to reset X6's offense. The Nanoblade from Arhan would find two and a dash for third, but the glory was not all his. Recry 2 would be featured in the kill feed for Afrika Freaks Blue, with back-to-back -back tactical visors that contributed to the second checkpoint hold, putting AF Blue just one map away from the semi-finals. With X6 on the offense first on Hanamura, the initial teamfight broke out on the back way of the point, lasting for over two and a half minutes as Afrika stalled the capture and X6 reinforced with respawns, drawing the brawl out and gathering two ticks in the process before Arhan's second Dragon Blade got a nano boost and he popped off, getting a quad kill with his blade and finalizing the team kill with a fifth afterwards. Refusing to go out of the series, X6 rallied and took A on the next push, but were thwarted in their snowball attempt by Mano's Nano Winston and Arhan's Genji contesting the high ground control. From there, the chances of X6 were few and far between, but they did manage to secure a tick of progress during their final attempt before having to defend themselves in the second half. X6 broke out the Torbjorn again for their defense on A, but no one pressured Dong Hyun, who was now on the tracer for AF Blue's triple DPS offense during the team fight. He laid in the damage to the defenders, all while building up a speedy pulse bomb before dying as he let the bomb loose. Recry and Arhan cleaned up the rest on the point, and A was taken. In their own attempt to snowball, the triple DPS of AF Blue rushed cliffside and found a very early pick onto Tide Boy's tracer, setting up a disaster scenario for X6 Gaming, where Recry Soldier had the high ground all to himself with a tactical visor, while AF Blue easily built up the control percentage needed to end the series 3-0. Now at a stunning 15-0 map record, AF Blue make reaching the semi-finals look easy and we'll see if they've given themselves all the tools they need to go all the way. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit subscribe over here and you can watch the next video by clicking here. Thanks for your likes and comments in the meantime and don't forget to share. I'll see you for the next match.